Hello again and welcome to another video. This time I'm here with these double um, blunts, I think they're called. Oh, I'll have to check. And then I got this gravity staff here as well. But yeah, so it's the legendary blunt with 92 ice damage and throw distance. Same thing on my other one, except, oh, one damage difference. But it's a 91. Oh, and you know what? This one's called a club. Here, look, I'll, I'll show you. Over here, we've got, oh wait, you know what? 92, oh, that's the same one, that's my left. I need my right, it's, it's counterintuitive because it's mirrored. Um, okay, so this one, uh, legendary club, 91 ice distance, damage and throw distance, and the other one was a blunt. Even though they're the exact same, uh, you can't really tell a difference, I don't think. So, quite interesting stuff there. Uh, I guess the nails, no, they're, the nails are the same way. That is that is very weird. But hey, they're uh, one of the highest damaging weapons, and having plus throw distance, I don't know if that actually does anything. Uh, I, I can't tell, at least. And then ice damage, ice is pretty good, so we'll leave it at that. And get right to it. Uh, definitely, in my opinion, these are the ugliest looking weapons, uh, especially when they're, like, you, you would think a legendary weapon would look really really cool and i guess they look kind of cool but uh you know what i'm gonna do um I, uh, I haven't done sandstorm in a bit but it's just it's so easy to do sandstorm that i'm thinking maybe another underworld yeah i'm gonna do another underworld go maybe yeah obsidian this is perfect i'll go to the left first and then go right and finish it out do this recommended tier six difficulty. Get right into it. Let's see if I can chuck these nice all the way out. Good on me. I can do the throw. All right, and yeah, I've got a bit of a uh, once again slightly different recording setup, and um, yeah, I'll see how it goes. I. Uh, here we go. Give me this. Nice. Fantastic. And yeah, so I think I changed like one or two things in this recording setup, but I hardly even remember what those things were. Kill that guy. Got him. Yeah. So I can basically block these throws by throwing myself. Oh man, he's like blocking with his horns or something. Then he just jumps down, get a nice ice sculpture, got him, oh, and then I fell, good on me. Um, give this guy, ooh, ooh, yeah, I was thinking, knock that guy into the wall, kill him, oh, he was already dead, that's cool. Okay. Ooh, yeah, see, these guys posing when they die is so cool, in my opinion. Oh, missed that. Uh-oh. Lost my weapon. Ugh. Kill that guy. And... Nice. Got him iced. So, yeah, you might... Might hear some pop lamp popping and cracking because of my lavalier mic I have set up connected to me. However... Oh, you know what? The lever's over here to get to this chest. Um... Yeah, however, I think I got it set up enough so there shouldn't be too much. And I might, in, in post-production when I'm editing, I might be able to take out the popping and cracking. Um, which way? I said left first, I think. Let's hope I'm right. <clears throat> Ooh, tier 3 chest. Let's go. Easy to kill ice bats or bats in general with the blunts. So I did that. Hop on up here, give myself, no, I don't have a key, but I do have a key because it's right there. Okay, we're good. Key, always a key there. I, I should have gone there first. Grab onto this, climb on up, and jump. Bam, there we go. And I'll wait to see what I got here. Power gem, quad damage, come on, hatchet. Yeah, those can be okay. 
Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Now, to the lever. This is one of those puzzle ish rooms. And it would be nice if this room had enemies in it. I don't know, it just seems kind of bland without them. And darn, we don't have enough keys. Too bad I opened that chest over there. I, oh, you know what? Is there a key? I don't think there's a key over there. I could be wrong. There might be a key hidden somewhere throughout this place, but not too sure. And I, was, I pulled out the haste potion, considering if I was gonna use it. Get these coins. And yeah, no, I realized I don't really wanna use haste. I might wanna use it to get back there um, and then open the chest. But yeah, that was interesting. Just like a, a, a corridor completely separate from everything else that only... Oh, my gosh. Okay, kill this dude real quick. Get the spider. Kill him before he even gets up. Yeah, these small rooms. It's easy to kill things before they even really spawn. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Poison barrel exploded right next to me. Good stuff. Alright. Yeah, you know what? Might as well use the gravity staff on some of these guys. Nice. Got him. Ooh. See that? That throw automatically went to the um, barrel instead of where I wanted it. But yeah, I don't... Oh, man. I don't really need the gravity staff when I can just ice, guys. Huh. Took two hits. I think... Oh, I think his horn came off. Um, nice and simple. I think that guy's horn came off even though he was frozen. I thought it was always a one hit when they're frozen, but I think with the zombies and that guy, it's not 100% going to be one hit when they're frozen. Uh, the imps and the zombies. Okay, just a little corridor off here. I think there should be a key in here somewhere. Maybe not. But yeah, if I didn't hit that guy in the head, it might not have killed him. I think. Next zombie I see, I'm gonna try to do that. <laughs> hmm, I thought that hit him in the head, but I guess the first shot was in the head. I don't know. But I'm gonna haste back real quick, see if I can get this, uh, tier three chest. Don't want to leave that unopened, but I don't, oh no, no, my haste potions, no, oh, oh no, I'm losing control, <laughs> no, I did it again, oh my gosh, that's terrible, okay, well, I probably won't die jumping down here, okay, yeah, it just hurt my feet a little bit, oh man, but now I don't have haste to get back, no, and then I poisoned myself, okay, that was, that was the roughest haste I've done in quite a while. So I'll just wait here and see what I get. Fireball staff. Ugh. Sucks. Once again, doesn't matter if I get staffs because I don't have perks. They're no different than in any of the other 20 staffs I have. Bummer. 67. I've been hurting myself. Oh, also, do I have... I have gems. So I can... I should be breaking all of these things that I see. Barrel over here. Oh, what a spider. Dang. Die, spider. He dead? He's dead. I also didn't look at my exo perk. I didn't do it last video. I didn't do it this time. I've been forgetting. But I, I think I think I have the, um, the melee damage, the critical exo perk. Okay, good. We're almost full on gems again after using this. Okay, cool. We're full on, gem, full on gems. But yeah, so it does help to use the staff, even though it's kind of a pain to collect things. Um, it's not that much of a pain. It's, it's more satisfying than anything with a staff. Okay, now, let's see what we get here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, shocks. Ah! So many guys. Okay, yeah, those, those uh, ice spiders don't jump, so they're not a huge um, threat. What do we got up here? Absolutely nothing. Sometimes there's a door, I think, an extra room. Um, I don't think there's ever a key, but it would be nice if there was. Okay. 
nice and easy. Let's see if there's any other guys that spawn. I don't think so. I got an extra gem. Might as well keep it with me. I'll just throw it in the middle up here. Oh, chest. Nice. Yeah, if that was an ice bat and he actually hit me, could have been rough. Could have been rough. Give me these coins. There we go. And do not have another key. That is too bad. I don't have two other keys. Oh, but now... No, I don't. Sometimes there's an extra room over here where you can climb a ladder up to the top. But over here, we do have one key. So if I find one more key along with this one, then we'll be good to go back and open that chest. All right, here we go. Since I have so many gems... Oh, where did I put the gem? I forgot the gem. Darn. Well, I'll still use the gravity staff. See what I can do with it. Oh, man, really? <laughs> So, at this point in the video, my audio, my voice just totally cut out, so here I am doing a little voiceover. I saw the guy, Octoculus, over there he was stuck in the room for a second, but luckily he came out, so I was able to kill him with, the, what, three hits to the face or something? And that was that was pretty nice. Then we got the uh, big boy here, um, Purple Elite Skeleton. I tried to move him with the gravity staff, but to no avail because bosses just aren't affected by gravity staffs. So that was totally useless. And now I'm trying to kind of kill him with my uh, my blunts, the, the clubs, and he just it's taking a while because for one, ice doesn't really affect or do anything. You, you hear the ice noise when I hit him. And I, and I have to be hitting him in the face, by the way. I'm trying to alternate hands. Right, right there is doing a lot of right hand. Ooh, okay. Switched my hands. And yeah, some of them, I was, I was trying to hit him with two uh, throw both at the same time, but sometimes they would clank together and it would just make for the clubs not actually hitting him and hitting each other, just like blocking from hitting him. But sometimes it worked. Uh, but I was trying to trying to throw him one at a time. Then I saw the sorcerer guy was over here again. Uh, tried to hit him with the gravity staff, and a spider jumped on my face. Rough stuff. Um, gravity staff. It does like 36 damage when it when it hits them. So I still did damage, but just very minimal. So I'm trying to now use my clubs and hit him in the face, um, hitting the sorcerer in the face because you only get one shot before he teleports. It's good to get make that a headshot, so it's a little more damage. I think, I think that's how that works. And yeah, I continue to wait for him to spawn and hit him in the face. And then that's all three bosses. It was a pretty lame end fight. I I kind of hoped that it was more of a wave and and a lot of enemies because that's what ice really thrives with. Um, but oh well, oh well. I was stuck to that. Then I returned to the outpost. Got some some gold. It wasn't the best dungeon. I only had three weapon modules and some other stuff. But yeah, no, that was it was a pretty fun dungeon. And I think I might use these clubs another time. Um, maybe in another video because they were very fun. That dungeon just kind of sucked, especially with that end boss fight. Uh, the, uh, the boss fight just didn't really show off how cool those clubs could really be. But, yeah, toss them out. Um, and yeah, I, I think here I was saying uh, that I appreciate everybody for watching, uh, watching these videos, and I'm actually getting close to uh, being monetized, closer than I thought. Uh, originally, I, I was just doing this for fun, but hey, maybe might as well get monetized on YouTube. And so I'm getting close to 500 subscribers and um, I think 3,000 watch hours. Not super close. I think it's 500. Uh, I, I'm like uh, 170 out of 500 subscribers and like 1,000 out of 3,000. So I'm like a third of the way there. But yeah, so basically I think here I was just saying make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know, the usual cliche but hey if you do that i really appreciate it and peace out